And today we are looking at this spectacular painting by Canaletto called the Buchintoro Returning to the Molo. And here we have the Buchintoro, the gold uh, boat that you can see here in the background. And this belonged to the Doge and we have the Doge's Palace. So this is a very festive and happy painting and it features a crocodile. Now, can you see the crocodile? Is it underneath these gondolas? Is it hiding by the Buchin Toro? Or is it creeping along in front of the Doge's palace? Well, you have to look a little bit higher because the crocodile is on top of one of the pillows with Saint Theodore standing on top. And Saint Theodore was a Roman soldier who captured a crocodile. So there we go. A crocodile is hiding in this lovely painting. And we are going to make our very own crocodile. Snap, snap. Are you ready? Okay, you need two pieces of A4 paper. If you've got green paper, great. If not, we're going to colour it in, okay? We also need a piece of white, a ruler, a pencil, some glue. If you have some googly eyes, not to worry if you don't, we'll draw them in, and some split pens if you have them. If not, don't worry, we'll stick his feet on instead. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cover, if you haven't got green paper, your white sheet with a green pencil or a wax crayon and just cover that all over. This is really great. Scribble, scribble all over and create some nice marks there and do the other side too, okay? Once you've got both sides complete, you're going to take your ruler and measure so that we're going to create four strips, okay? So these are going to be the loops for the crocodile. So we're going to measure five centimetres across, five, 10, 15, and the last one is fractionally wider than five centimetres, but not to worry. Next, cut your strips. And you're going to do this for both pieces of paper so that you will end up with eight strips all together. We'll take the first strip and make a loop. Thread that through, so you're making a bit of a paper chain, okay? And this is for the crocodile's body. So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is his feet. Okay, so using another strip, fold that in half, and it's going to cut a little piece of the bottom. If you want to, if you've got split pins and you want to make your feet move, all you need to do is cut along here. And we're going to get some blue tack and a sharp pencil. And you're going to put one hole and then another hole. Thank you. 
friends. <laughs> so we're going to do the tail next. So I'm going to just fold that end. So, and then fold this piece over. Okay, got a fold there. And then we're going to create some zigzags for the tail. I'll just cut this bit of the sharp point and we go. leaves the head. We're going to fold that over like this and then thread this through this hoop. And when you've threaded it through what I want you to do is bend and bend it there and bend it here. Okay? So that's so that you can snap. But you need some teeth. I'm going to make some teeth. So this piece here is 12 centimetres across. And these are four centimetres. And this one's six centimetres. I'm going to cut along here. I'm going to fold that in half, like so. And then fold the other one in half. And taking your scissors, we're going to create some teeth. It sounds like a crocodile. Now, uh, if you've got a red or a pink pen, and then with the smaller square, this is going to be a front teeth. So it's, it's like that. So then we're going to fold that in half. And we're just giving two. So do the same again just for the bottom, like that, okay, and then we're going to thread this through so that it's going to sit like that, okay, so we put some glue on here. making a crocodile and remember when you come to the museum go and find our crocodile in the Canaletto painting. Take care, see you soon.